I'm a Belgian vlogger who's not really used to vlogging in English, so um, why am I? Well, because I'm a proud ambassador of the Belgian e-bike brand Cowboy and I really want them to go worldwide because I think it's the best looking bike in the universe. I've been driving my full black Cowboy V2 version of the bike for over a year now. I even made some modifications like new handlebars, a carriaging tool and uh, I even put some lights in the wheels. But today I'm here to tell you about the V3 version of the bike. Since Cowboy is a startup or scale-up, they are really agile in improving stuff and listening to the customers. And they really did. They even changed the colors, so it's not black anymore. You can choose now between black, dark grey or light grey. And this light grey is my favorite. <laughs> so what changed to the Cowboy e-bike? Not that much, not significant much, but enough. First of all, it's a carbon belt now. Much stiffer and faster and much smoother to start from 0 to 25. It goes really smooth and it's also better for an uphill start. <laughs> the mud guards also changed. I'm a big fan of aesthetics and design and I understand that the bike is more beautiful without mud guards. But you have to say, in Belgium it rains so much that the bike was pretty useless. So I have to say, big improvement. By the way, if you want to buy the bike, you can use this referral link and you get the mud guards for free. Good deal, right? You still use the cowboy bike with an app but now you can unlock the bike without an app too and trust me when your smartphone battery is dead it really sucked you couldn't unlock your bike and last but not least there's the feature find my bike so when your bike is stolen there's a little battery inside the frame of the bike and it sends a signal for over 30 days the app is upgraded with something like crash detection so when you crash your bike the lights of the bike start blinking and if you don't check a box on the app your emergency contact gets a notification. Another upgrade is something like air quality. So when you plan your route, you get an alternative route to avoid bad air quality. Cowboy has upgraded custom-made tires and they should be less vulnerable to punctures although I never had a puncture with mine. The only difference I noticed is that they are a bit better on cobblestone. And that's a big plus because the Cowboy doesn't really have suspension. Because of all of this the bike's a bit heavier but you can't really tell. So the only thing I'm really missing is something like a bike stand. You know, just kidding. Big minus for me is the legal speed limit of 25 kilometers an hour. I could unlock 30 kilometers per hour on my V2 bike, but they've killed that feature on the V3. Makes sense, but sucks anyway. So that brings us to the most important things. What's the range? Cowboy promises 70 kilometers on one charge. I've got good experience of about 50 kilometers on one charge with my V2, but I've tested this bike not long enough to know if it's changed. But you know, I don't really care. It's easy to remove the battery and charge. The price changed too. It got more expensive. It's now 2,219 euros instead of 1,919 euros. What, what kind of money do they go for? Uh, 2,200. Yeah, yeah. It's about right, isn't it, for an electric bike? What can I say? It's a very good looking bike and I can imagine it's pretty expensive to make them. So um, I would buy one in a heartbeat. 